Good afternoon, my little friends of CN Dylan. So I am here today to explain to you few mathematics notions, okay, and to explain the homework that I sent to you the last two weeks. Okay, we start with the mathematics lesson about arrays. So after this lesson, you will be able to know what an array is, you will be able to draw an array, and also use arrays to solve repeated addition problems. Let me read the lesson to you. An array is a set of objects organized into rows, okay, rows and columns, columns, so that we can count the objects easily. As you see on this array, you can count the object easily, 2 plus 2 plus 2 or 3 times 2. The objects are arranged in equal rows and columns. Here is the example. Equal rows, 3 objects in the first row, 3 objects in the second row, equal columns, 2 objects here in the first column, 2 here, and 2 objects in the third column. So. How does this help me to solve repeated addition problem easily? Look, we have two, two objects or two stars times three, two times three, or three plus three, or two. Plus two plus two to find six. So two times three equals six. Three plus three equals six. Two plus two plus two equals six. So here you are, as far as the explanation of the topic is concerned. Let's go to the explanation of the homework that you received from the school. Okay, we have three worksheets. Here is the first worksheet. Sheet 1. I read the instruction to you. Use repeated addition to write an equation to show how many pumpkins are shown by the array. So let me correct array. And then circle columns of pumpkins. Okay. So the first is done for you on the worksheet. I'm going to explain it to you one more time. You see in the box we have an array of pumpkins. But in fact, I replace the pumpkins with the circles because it's easier for me. So we have how many rows? One, two, three. How many columns? One, two, three. So, what is the equation to show how many pumpkins are there? Here it is. Three plus three plus three equals nine. So we have nine pumpkins. So you have to do the rest on the page. Thank you. So, okay, so we continue with the homework. I explain to you the worksheet number two. Color the in each array. This is the worksheet two. This is an equation three times four. So we have to color the number of tiles or squares corresponding to this equation. So three. Let's consider that 3 is the number of tiles 
in the row. One, two, three. Four is the number of ties in the column. Let's go together. One, two, three, and four. So three times four equals twelve. All this space should be colored in red. So you can take it again, you will see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This drawing corresponds to this equation three times four. So you have to do the rest on the page. So let's continue and finish with the third worksheet. Sheet three, instruction. Complete the multiplication equation that describes each array. This is an array. On your sheets, it's an array of strawberries. Okay? We have how many rows? One, two, three, four rows. And how many columns? One and two. So, four times what equals eight? Four is the number of rows. So, four rows times how many columns to have eight? One, two, three, four times one, two rows. It gives what? Four times two equals eight. So I have completed the equation that represents this strawberry array. So we are done for today. Let's meet next time for other videos. It was a pleasure for me. Bye.